Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Happy Wednesday, happy new release day. Coming at you with 2022 Tops Allen & Ginter Baseball 12 box random team break number one. Number one did have an early bird spot with it. First 16 spots sold, get a chance to win an extra spot. This is a 31 spot break. There's also gonna be a non-sport, non-major league baseball card. And no vet common ship. Big thanks to this group right here for making it happen. And here are the first 16. First 16, right? Yeah, first 16. Let's see who wins that extra spot. Good luck. Let's roll it, randomize it. Six and a four, 10 times. Name on top, extra spot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10th and final time. It's gonna be I press the button. The wheel is spinning on the tab. Ram.org's been ra acting weird this week. There it is. After 10 times, Michael Gallucci. There you go, Michael. After 10, get an extra spot. Thanks for being an early bird. Now let's randomize you a team. Now that 31st spot is that non-sport, non-MLB spot. Non-sports, that means like sandwiches, right? Non-MLB, something not affiliated with a Major League Baseball team. There are baseball-related cards, or it'll be like, um, you know, double play cards or something like that, but those aren't affiliated with a Major League Baseball team. You'll see what I mean when we get there. For most of you Ginter fans, you know what I'm talking about. All right, there's the whole list there. Now, different dice roll for names and teams. It's going to be four and a three seven times. Your name's first. One, two, three, four, five, six, and once more, seventh and final time. Come on, ram.org. This break's gonna be long enough already. There you go. Seventh and final time. That is Matthew down to Lonnie. And then four and a three, seven times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seventh and final time. Oh, he's on seven, huh? Just wait for it. If you're watching the replay of this, you can fast forward through this part. Um, there'll, there'll also be a uh, recap at the end as well. So after seven, we got the Friars down to the Nats. And there will be a trade window as well. Matthew, you have the Padres, Craig with the Rockies, Lonnie with the Mets, Andy with the Cubs, Sam with the Tigers, Matthew with the Phillies, Ed, you got my Dodgers. Zang with the Marlins, Nick with the Astros, uh, Dugan, Mike Dugan with the Braves, Edgar, Blue Jays, Bill with the Yankees, Darren with the Twins, uh, Calvin with that non-sport, non-Major League Baseball spot, Michael with the Giants, Adam with the Mariners, Michael G with the Angels, Lonnie with the A's, Brandon with the Reds, Barry with the Diamondbacks, Ed with the Guardians, Michael with the White Sox, Zang with the uh, Orioles. Paige, you got the Rangers, Anthony with the Pirates, Greg, Brewers, Michael G, Rays, Sam, Royals, Derek, Cardinals, your early bird spot, Michael Gallucci with the Boston Red Sox, and Lonnie, Washington Nationals. All right, so let's alphabetize by team. And we're gonna pause the video. When we come back, we're gonna see if there's any trades. Then we will have the break stick around BRB. All right, welcome back everybody. No deals were done, so that list right here remains the same. Here on a Wednesday the 16th, random team break number one. So just over my shoulder, you can see Michael right here. He uh, he does, does a lot of the eBay stuff for us. Did you know that we have an eBay channel, ladies and gentlemen? Jaspi's Case Breaks. There you go, search Jaspi's Case Breaks. What's on, what's on there right now, Michael? Oh man. <laughs> Tons of stuff? Everything. Basketball, baseball, football. We got Jalen Hurts up there. Oh. Uh, we got 
put me on the spot here. <laughs> <laughs> um, here, what we're going to do, I think everyone can still see the boxes on the table here. What Michael's going to do, he's going to rip open these boxes and then stack up the packs on this card right here. Mike, you might have to set this aside over here. And then he'll, he'll stack them up right over here so you can kind of see they're not going anywhere. Um, oh, actually. That open first, and that should help the break move a little bit more quickly. It's a full case. Full case, all 12 boxes. Toppers. Toppers, you can just stack right up here in one pile and then I'll do them all at once. All right, so yeah, Diego wants to know what your what your teams are, your oh, sports man. teams. Uh, Dodgers, Lakers, and the Arizona Cardinals. And the Cardinals, yeah. a weird one, but I, I, guess, I guess that makes sense. If no you, team I was going to say, if you think though. about it, for like at least a generation or two, yeah. there was just kids were free agents here. Yeah, exactly. And the LA Kings, obviously. Nice. And Tottenham, Hot Spurs. There you go. And that's about it. Tiger Woods. <laughs> Very nice, nice. Matthew, what's going on? How are you? Why did you choose Cardinals? Uh, the first football game that I really I seriously watched was the Super Bowl in uh, 09 against the Steelers and uh -huh. everyone, everyone thought the Steelers was, were going to win which they did but right. so I was rooting for the underdog and it just stuck it just I stuck guess. That, that's how it goes yeah. I was also nine years old at the time so I didn't know it was going to be a bad decision <laughs> but you know what you're committed I am committed you're committed Edgar is, not, is like, hey, he's from Oxnard. You're a Phillies, Eagles, and Lakers fan. All right. That works. Yeah, my, my cousin is a, uh, is an Eagles fan. Kind of same deal. There's just no football in L.A. when we were growing up. And I, I kind of stuck with the Raiders early. But I think he was, he was just yeah, young enough where, where he – didn't really have connection to the Raiders and ended up going with the Eagles because of Randall Cunningham, I think. All right. All right, good luck, everybody. It's the new uh, Ginter design here, a little border on the left side. You got the mini cards here. So that will be considered going to the non-sport spot. All right, National Ice Cream Day, that's gonna go to um, Calvin with that. So that's considered a common, that's obviously a rookie card that will ship. And obviously Bobby Witt Jr. will ship, piece of his jersey. Oh, the red frame made me think that this was gonna be uh, out of five, but. The good, yeah, the minis do make it tough. They slip around. Nice Bobby Wood Jr. Rookie Relic for the Royals. That's going to be for Sam. Rex, I did not do my free agent contest picks on MLBTradeRumors.com. Speaking of picks, it's Wednesday. It is Wednesday. Football picks. Who's playing tomorrow? Uh, Packers Titans. Packers Titans. I say it's, it's Titans minus two and a half. No. Other way. Other way? Yeah, Packers at home. Oh, Packers are at home. Oh, that makes Minus sense. three. Minus three. You are obviously a trained professional in the Packers. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you'll you'll get used to it. It's good practice. The Turkey Club. I'm a fan of the Turkey Club. Michael, do you like the Turkey Club? I'm not a big turkey guy. Not a big turkey guy. Okay. So then, what, what happens at Thanksgiving? A little bit different. A little bit different. Gotta suck that. Gotcha. You can't be the guy eating chicken. <laughs> right, <laughs> right, right, right. Some I've seen some families do ham. Yeah. They'll, they'll bust out a, a turkey and ham. 
like Pam's more of a Christmas thing. I, I, that's what I feel too, but National Pajama Day. That's a cool, but I, I'd do that. I don't know if they make those in adult sizes. There's Hunter Green, local kid here. Just over the hill, I think. We got a Clayton Kershaw. And we've got what's cooking? Some fresh ground black peppers. Should I toss the boxes too? That's what's cooking. Uh, yes, you can toss the boxes. We got inside the park, there is the Great Sand Dunes National Park. I've not been here. In Colorado. And I will do an autograph and hit recap at the end. What are we supposed to get for Ross here? An autograph, car, relic card, rip cards, printing plates, and books. Look for any three of those. Yeah. Right. Have you ripped any cosmic yet? No, that's, that, that is lined up, coming up a little bit later tonight. There's some cayenne pepper. That's a good pepper. I'm into it. I bought a couple of Pepsi of this product and I was very thrown off by all the food. <laughs> yeah, but it's a quirky product. Some people hate it. Some people are like this. This is garbage. <laughs> it's like gypsy too. Yeah, you but with a little, you hate it. with a little more goofiness in Ginter. Cool. Gypsy Queen leans into baseball a little bit more, but then you've got like famous rivals, like Alexander Hamilton. And, and Aaron Burr. Well, the, uh, Mike has a card, right? Yeah, he does. 20, 2017, I think. Oh, there, it's in the, I was looking for that yesterday. I wanted to show people. Now, I don't want to get too political, but this, what, this guy shot the other guy. That's how it was back in the day. We're a little more civilized now, so every time you get cynical about politics, just remember, we're not, no one's, kill, no one's killing each other yet, so... Uh, how do you feel about this? The banh mi sandwich. We never had it. Never had it. Where's it from? A favorite Vietnamese food option. Uh, yeah. Oh, you know what? Teddy pulled that same one and he asked me about it. I was <laughs> like, I don't know what that is. All right, we got some birds here. Got a mini canerco. We got an O'Neill Cruise Mini. We got these rivals, Bush and Gore. And we've got the Petrified Desert Forest National Park. I've not been here. I want to go there. I think that's in Arizona. Yeah, Arizona. Check that out someday. And here's our autograph. It's Matt Manning. The M at symbol to make Matt. I get it. I see you, Matt Manning. That'll be for the Tigers, Sam with the Tigers. I think that might have been tried to trade, couldn't trade Mojo. Oliver not into the Bon Me. He just says, eh. It's, there's a spot for all like the non baseball Yeah, there's a, uh, Calvin has the non-sport, non-MLB <laughs> spot. So he'll be getting. Well, there's like autos and stuff, right? Yeah, oh yeah, so that could be interesting. So he gets the International Trading Day card. Oh, that's With Maryfield Mini. And uh, chili powder. Nice, that's what's cooking. We're gonna have to check out the whole checklist. For all yeah, the, the checklist, it's, it's, a, it's a goofy checklist. One year they did dinosaurs one year, they did oh like dogs one year. They well, they come up with uh, chrome for this too. Right? Mm -hmm, there's a chrome version of this as well. There's a Julio Rodriguez mini, your uh, AL Rookie of the Year. Pretty easy choice, I think. That goes to Adam the Mariners. And the box topper is Ronald Acuna Jr. Nice. Over here. Get these mini cards out of the way. <laughs> All right, so this is a whole box right here? Uh, 
Box and a half, yeah, maybe? Box and a half. half Alright. Well, all, no, these are two boxes. Here. These are two boxes, okay. Yeah. All those boxes. <laughs> so this these stacks represent a couple boxes. We got so we got a can of corn, baseball lexicon. Can of corn, I like that. Famous rivals, England and France. Yeah, that's that's classic. Classic. We've got uh, Robin Yount, piece of his jersey. Is your World Cup thing? I think it was a uh, England and Argentina, England to win. What about you? Um, England as well. Well, I'm, I'm rooting for England because I like Harry Kane. So. You're right. Honestly, I can I just like <laughs> <laughs> got Bradley Beal, right? There's basketball here too. Whoa! Yeah, they'll hit you. With, they'll hit you with the hoops. So that goes to the non-sports spot, Calvin, with that one. Uh, we did look one up yesterday, Rebel. If you look at sold items, I think there is a Mike Jasperson car that sold in September. I think. Yeah, I think for like almost two hundred dollars. He's a short print, so just his base card too, not even his auto. Joey Gallo going to it's the Yankees edition. That's for Bill. Should I grab it real quick so we can see it? Yeah, sure. We got time. It's a long break. The National Hot Dog Day. No. Yeah, it's. I I like Ginter. It's Ginter is. I feel like I'm rushing too much in a uh, group break of Ginter because I feel like there's so many things to kind of see, but we don't you know we don't have all day. Oh, there it is. Oh, it's autographed too. Yeah. This is the uh, this is from 2017. Allen and Ginter, ah, our very own Mike Jasperson, Nick's dad. So he was in Ginter. Man, yeah, all over your Sacramento Kings are looking pretty good. What's 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 the secret? What's happening there? Salvador Perez for the Royals. That will be for Sam in Kansas City. Got a mini Trevor Story. What's this dude doing? It's National Running Day. Oh, see, can you imagine being in the meeting to come up with all these? It's like, what about what about national days? We should make that a set. I'm sure, I haven't done that yet. Justin Verlander is your uh, Cy Young Award winner for the AL. Oh, really? Yeah, I think they just announced it. Do you think it is for NL? I think they already did NL. I, it's, it was uh, Alcantara. Damn it. All right, and there's three out of ten. Hank Greenberg, Tigers. Nice, nice one for Sam. When did they announce the MVPs? That might be tomorrow. I, I don't like the way baseball does it like this. Yeah. Why can't they just have like, go to like Hawaii and do like a big show, <laughs> do it, knock it out in one night? Yeah. I'd watch it. Like something like the ESPYs. Yeah, exactly. Hey, here's Alice Cooper, musician. Goes to the non-sports spot. That's for Calvin. The non-sports spot coming in handy. I don't know any Alice Cooper songs off the top of my head, otherwise I would sing it. Does he do No More Mr. Nice Guy? Is that Alice Cooper? It is. No More Mr. Nice Guy. That's how it goes. It's exactly like that. I might get copyrighted, <laughs> Michael. You're absolutely right. I better watch out. It's, it's too perfect. Uh, Oliver's saying it's coaching. It's coaching. People forget how good, good of a coach he is. Culture changer as well. 
Michael, how do you feel about the hot dog? The hot dog? It looks like a good hot dog. That looks like a good hot dog, yeah. There's Zion National Park. I've been here. That's really nice. Got around going around the horn. Apple cider vinegar. Oh man, Oliver, when does when does your kings and Joe P's uh, Joe Pizzle's sons when do they square off? All right, there's uh, Robert E. Lee. Ulysses S. Grant. We got C.J. Abrams and pitching a gem, Steven Strasburg. Best basketball team in California. Oh, it's kind of crazy to think that the Kings are the best basketball team. <laughs> What's that? You think the Lakers will turn it around? No. <laughs> I don't. They're starting a Marte. I mean, like, there's nothing that shows me that they... Well, didn't the Celtics start off, like... That's true, yeah. People year. tell me that, too. Here's Starling Marte for the Mets. It'll be for Lonnie. And they were like, yeah, you know, the Pelicans at this stage of the season had only won a handful of games, and they got to the playoffs. You know, uh, they'll have to be a big move during the trade window. What about the Italian sub? What do you think about the Italian sub? Oh, man. That looks like it'll put me out for the rest of the day. <laughs> it'll just knock you out. Yeah. Food coma. What do you think about Lonnie Walker, though? Lonnie Walker's been going off. Yeah. Oh, that, we got one of those on the eBay. Lonnie oh, there Walker, you go. Mojo Rookie Prism. Wow. Jaspi's Case Breaks. Just search that on eBay. The Finder eBay account. Michael here is helping us pack sack his... Uh, uh, loads up the content there, so check it out. Yeah. Sons and Kings in a couple weeks. Right. Another duck, a gray duck. Here's the hot dog again. I suppose Dennis Schroeder is coming back for the Lakers. Yeah. That should be a boost. Still can't believe he turned down that contract and then took <laughs> yeah. like what three mil or. Yeah. I think the way the way Dennis Schroeder says it though, it's like it's not like he had the money in his pocket and he lost it. You yeah. know what I mean? It's like he never had it, so like you can't really you don't feel as bad, but still. Michelle Wee West? Who's she married to? She looks like a golfer from that picture. She's definitely a golfer. Pretty good golfer. She's from Hawaii. What's your favorite Topps product? Topps product? You know what? My top, my favorite Topps product is Alan Ginter. I love it. Really? Oh yeah. I mean, let's sell out all of the cases. Cro Cosmic Chrome. That's my. That's my other favorite. Let's fill that up. Plenty of those on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Man, let's fill those up. Those are my favorite. I set you up pretty good. Yep, yep. ABC, always be closing. <laughs> Is that right? Johnny O saying she's married to Jerry West's son? Or Joe West. Joe, Joe West. <laughs> Cowboy Joe. <laughs> Just pulling Michelle Wee. All right, all right. And how bummed is Joe West that he retired the year before they gave microphones to um? <laughs> Who's that one so umpire that yeah. is just like notoriously bad? Angel. Angel Hernandez, yeah. yeah. And he's he's been around the league for a while too, and then he's I think he's filed lawsuits against like MLB saying like why am I not on playoff like rosters and well, playoff someone, games Cause, someone told me that umpires can't be fires yeah I think they gotta well no they mm, yeah who actually a good question 
Here is a uh, Ernie Clement rookie autograph mini for the Guardians. That's for Ed. I know they got a pretty strong, uh, it's a pretty strong union. Who hi who hires and fires umps? I don't know what the criteria is, but I think he sued the MLB saying, why am I not here? And then they're like, you suck. That's right. Like you would think they'd get rid of it, right? You would think so. Why can't they? Don't know. Here's a Chris Bryant piece of his lumber going to the Rockies. That's going to be for Craig and the Rocks. Yeah, Michelle Wee, I believe, is pretty tall, all three right. I think she's like 5'10 or something like that. But a pretty good golfer in her day. Some power outage right here. Are there any uh, new Prism World Cup breaks up there? Okay. Yeah, we got, we got a couple half case breaks pretty close to fill it up. Yeah, I was gonna get to that heat, man. Yeah, I, th I think he, Angel Hernandez was trying to claim that it was like it was uh, it was racist that, he, that there was a racial bias for why he was like no, it's there's no bias there. It's just you're just not good. No one likes you. No one wants to put you on a national stage to embarrass the game. So it's just not gonna be it's not gonna be there. Is my favorite food the same as your favorite car product? Like whatever I'm eating in the moment is my favorite? No. I'm not trying to sell food, Rex. I'm trying to sell case breaks, though. <laughs> yeah, I think she does do a lot of TV work, right? Michelle, we does a lot of TV work for Golf Channel. There she is right there. I, I remember her telling a story about how she went golfing with like Michael Jordan and like took him for a bunch of money. <laughs> really? Yeah. I think it's when she was retired or something like that. Michael Jordan was like a degenerate. Oh yeah. Degenerate. Still, still might be. I bet you uh, one still and one might is be. his favorite product. What's that? I said I bet you one and one is, is his favorite Yeah. <laughs> I think on the golf course, so I think he's always like gambling on the golf course. Yeah. Wait, doesn't he, he has an exclusive deal with uh, uh, Upper Deck, actually, yeah. Got another Julio Rodriguez rookie card. I think we can find some parallels of him somewhere. Uh, these will be going to Adam Richards. I think there's a Julio Mini, a couple base cards right here. Looks like Michelle Wee's married to Johnny West. Yeah, son of Jerry West. And Johnny West is director of basketball operations for the Warriors. My National Park, where is that? The barrel of Alaska, maybe. Well, I mean, it could be Houston, Texas. There's your turkey club again. There's not too, many, not too many different sandwiches here. I wonder if some sandwiches are short printed. Others possible. There's Kirsch. Clayton Kershaw. Piece of his jersey going to Ed and the Dodgers. Kershaw mini jersey. Diego's got a question for Michael. Did Han shoot first? Did Han Solo shoot first? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I don't know if. Uh, the thing is, I, I know the scene you're talking about. But I'm, <laughs> just, I'm gonna say no. He says no. What's the right answer? I think, depending on the level of nerddom, 
some people will say that he shot first. Here's a Manny Machado rip cart. 84 out of 99. This is for the Padres. Matthew with the Padres. We're going to send it to you like this. If you choose to rip it, let us know what you, what you find inside. This is the half case part. Nice. Thank you. Getting there, folks. Getting there. There's a Julio Rodriguez mini black border. I think that might be our first Wander Franco rookie card. Michael's Wander Franco the weird, the real deal. I don't know. I think he can be. I'm still a believer. Yeah, he's. I don't know. I mean, he he gives me uh, Juan Soto feels. Yeah. Like when you saw Juan Soto come, I'd be like, "Who is this kid?" And then he just starts raking right off the bat. Well, it's and like he's had so much hype, right? Right. Like he has to live up to it, or else he's right. a bust. Right. Well, I guess you're right because Juan Soto just came out of nowhere, yeah. kind of. Like, like really imagine no when uh, Jason Dominguez gets called up. Right. That's a lot of pressure. Yeah. Tough. Hey, Nick. Well, we sold this, right? Yeah. I had gotten it like it was shipped to me. What? Like I got like the eBay guarantee. They eBay did sent it to us. Did it? Did you buy it? They shipped it back. And look, it says. Returning this because they're authentic handlers. How is it different than the listing description if it's a graded card? I don't know. What the refund this guy? Come on, eBay. I hate if, eBay. If only there was an alternative to eBay, Nick. Famous rivals? The Taylor Ham versus the pork roll? I didn't know they were rivals. Hmm. Spencer Torkelson mini. What about the Meatball Hero? That looks amazing. That does look amazing. That, that, this, this one would put me to sleep. Yes. It's just like you eat one of those in the afternoon and you're falling asleep in the late NFL games. You're not waking up until Carrie Underwood's yelling at you. <laughs> you're like, what? What happened? <laughs> what happened to all the games? It was a, I think it was a Justin Herbert card. There's a Victor Robles. Ricky Otto out of five. Really can't screw that up, eBay. What are you talking about, eBay? Like how, how could that be messed up? Right. Just look at the it's graded card. too, yeah. That happened uh, also with the uh, Jordan Love and TRPA, but that was raw, so like it hmm. makes sense maybe. With the graded one. But it was literally a label. Now, Michael, what are you putting on your hot dog? Oh, none of that. None of that? Maybe uh, some relish. Okay, maybe some relish. Ketchup. I'm just kind of like a just a dog and a ketchup kind of guy. Me don't too. get too get don't, don't get too fancy. People say ketchup doesn't go on hot dogs. Really? Yeah, and then they say if you uh, if you don't eat it with mustard, then you will. I got I got hot dog shamed by some dude in in uh, Chicago not too long ago, where uh, there was on the menu. We were at the airport. And going to, going to or to or from the national, and I just in the airport diner in Chicago at O'Hara. The random guy. Yeah, it's a random dude. Yeah, and I, I was like, yeah, I'll have the Chicago hot dog, but I just want ketchup on. I don't need all the trimmings on there. Then he then he straight up goes, well, then you can't tell because I was wearing like a Dodgers hat or something. Like that. Yeah. Then you can't tell your your friends back home that you had a real Chicago hot dog. Yeah. And I was like, what? Yeah, you, they don't like ketchup on their hot dog. And I was like, what? How are you to tell me how to eat my hot dog? Did you ever see the bear? I did not see that. I, I want to see that. Oh, yeah, it was that's, good it's about a, hot dogs like good, that. Oh, yeah? Okay. <laughs> okay. Got to check that out. There's A-Rod, Rangers edition, piece of his lumber there. That's going to go to Bennett. Mike Towers going mustard and relish on his hot dog. No ketchup, huh? Rex going sliced cheese and ranch on his dog. Interesting. Ranch on a hot dog. 
I've never seen that, and I feel like that's something you just have to respect. Yeah. I could, I, I could try that. I could try that. Rebel says, saw one person on Reddit where eBay showed the card back. They listed it as red, where the card was red wave, and eBay sent it back. Mm. Yeah, well, eBay also limits the amount of characters. Right, and then yeah. they and then so they yell at you for not doing the right characters. Yeah. Like, can't have it both ways. Joe, you lost eight games and then go. Yeah. Well, <laughs> man. Oh, how the mighty have fallen. Everyone's. <laughs> how are you feeling? We, so we I've have, been waiting to see you, so I can say that. What are you talking about? <laughs> we were going undefeated, and everybody knew that. <laughs> you, you guys had the best chance with that garbage sketch. Yeah. Right, everybody, we beat the Vikings, they're 8-1, we're fine. We're fine. They're 7-1. There's the Babe mini. Martin's got mustard and kraut on his. Yeah, Johnny O saying most places in Chicago don't even offer ketchup. Also, I, I never said I wanted the authentic Chicago hot dog experience. I just wanted the hot dog. You like the Costco got, hot got, got shame for it. Costco hot dog, pretty good. The Costco, uh, the Costco pizza slice, also really underrated. Yes. Yankees, Red Sox, there's some famous rivals right there. Should be. There's a burger. Just a nice little classic burger. I take that. What's your favorite burger? Favorite burger? Mm hmm. Hmm. That's a good question. Like at a like type of burger or like what restaurant, restaurant. or what fast food? Restaurant. We'll go fast food. Keep fast food burger. I mean In and Out. Wendy's actually has a decent burger. I agree. Underrated burger, Wendy's. I wonder if I like their fries, though. Wendy's? Yeah. They're pretty average. They're like regular. Nothing special. If I could get like a Wendy's burger with like Jack in the Box curly fries. I hate Jack in the Box. That would be pretty. You don't like Jack in the Box? I don't usually go Jack in the Box, but they've got some good curly fries. Here's a, a good autograph. Rookie auto. Brendan Donovan. Cardinals. That's going to be for Derek. Is today National Fast Food Day? Is it? Hmm. Does Five Guys have a hot dog? That's Mike Tower saying. Wow. Ooh, five guys. That cool. Maybe do some fast food for dinner today. Maybe. The Habit has a decent burger That's across the favorite, street. Yeah. Is that your favorite? Yeah. That Ricky Henderson, by the way, is Mariner's edition. So that goes to Adam. Piece of his lumber. I've only seen you eat Chipotle. Yeah, Chipotle's pretty good. Chipotle's pretty That's good. I wish there were more food options, though, around here. There's supposedly, uh, there's going to be a Jersey Mike's opening up in that plaza across the street. Really? Yeah. Like the one next to Vans? Like the one where Chipotle and the Habit. Oh, okay. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Where are they going to put that? Jersey I Mike's. No idea. I'm wondering, you know that empty space next to Vans? There's oh, that big oh, building yeah. that's open? Yeah. What would you love to see there? It's hard to put a restaurant there, though. Can't put a restaurant there, yeah. That's what I thought. Uh, I was thinking, if they pop, like, a convenience store there? Yeah. Like a 7-Eleven or something like that? that? Yes. Just a place to walk right over, get some snacks. I'm actually surprised there's... Well, actually, there is a 7-Eleven, but that's more down the street. Yeah. Get some lottery tickets. Get some scratchers. Have they picked a winner yet? Yeah, they did. Some dude in California won that billion dollars. No way. In Pasadena. No way. There's David Ortiz, piece of his jersey for the Red Sox. That's going to go to Michael Gallucci in his early bird spot. Yeah, it's two more boxes. Another couple of boxes here. Thank you. Making some great progress here, ladies and gentlemen. Well, this break would be like an hour and 40 minutes if it wasn't for Michael's help. Kings Canyon, that's a nice one. J-Dog saying ketchup, mustard, relish, the way to go on a dog. I didn't realize Five Guys hot dog. Rex likes Five Guys, favorite fast food, but he's a Dairy Queen guy. Hmm. 
Five Guys grilled cheese with a burger patty is fire. You know what? You know what kind of weird thing I like on my burger? A fried egg. Me too. Ooh. Pop a fried egg on a burger. Fat from Fat Burger. Yeah, yeah. Fat Burger does a good one. Isn't there a Fat Burger right up the street? There's one. Uh, it's in, oh yeah, they just opened one. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Have you had Shake Shack? I have not had Shake Shack. Oh, I haven't had that yet. Oh, Here man. is uh, Alejo Lopez for the Reds. Brandon with the Reds. Am, am I obligated to get a shake? No. <laughs> okay. It's, it's pretty pricey. Is it really? Yeah. Like for what it is? It's good. It's really good. But, you know. Hmm. To go, if you get a shake, it's going to run you like 24 bucks. $24 for a burger and a shake? Uh, and fries. And fries? Yeah. That's kind of a lot. It's, it is a lot. But like, it is really good. But. Like I could... I could go to go to Barron's down the street and have them make me a fancy hamburger for that price. Yeah. Yo, you've been to Father's Office? Father's Office, yes. Yeah. But Father's Office, they, they're they a little weird about not they won't letting you sleep. customize, yeah. But I know they have a fried egg one, so that's why I... Oh, do they? Yeah, yeah, that's why I... Oh, oh yes. I actually did not realize that. I'm not, I haven't been there in ages, actually. Yeah. Also, is Jason Jaspi saying if Five Guys really fast food if there's no drive through? Ah. Uh, then huh. have it when it mm. huh. Yeah. But then what are they? Yeah, I mean. Fa fast, fast casual? It's not a diner. It's a restaurant. Yeah, just. But that narrows it down so much. If yeah, it's no, I, 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 th I, think, I think you can have fast food without a drive through. It'd be a, it'd be a, it'd be hell yeah. inside and in and out. There's no drive through. You know who has a decently good burger? Mm. You're probably gonna laugh at me. Jaron Duran for the Red Sox, Michael. Del Taco. Really? Yeah. No, it's not amazing, but it's. But it's better than you think. It's a lot better than you think. Hmm. Hmm. I tried to door dash it one time and they messaged me and said we ran out of, <laughs> of buns. Really? I mean, because they're just selling like hotcakes? No, probably because they don't. Oh, they understocked <laughs> it? <laughs> I'd like to think it's because their burgers are so underrated that they yeah. You know what, Mike Tower? I do like some, uh, some malt vinegar and salt on fries. And like if I'm having like a fish and chips or something like that. I haven't had a shake at Portillo's, but... I think they opened one up around here. We got Portillo's when we were in Chicago. They've got good burgers there. I've never done this, but do people dip their fries in their shake? I've, yeah. I, yeah, I think that it's, it's a thing. I've seen people do it. I've tried it. It's actually not bad. It doesn't beat ketchup. It's all going to the same place anyway. <laughs> Yeah, I've seen people do dipping like French fries in their Wendy's Frosty. People do it. People, people do it. All right, here's another box right here. I haven't seen this yet. Oh, crooked number. This is base, baseball lexicon. Putting up a crooked number. Dale thinks it's weird when people don't like their food to touch. That is weird. That's weird. That, that, that's got to be some sort of OCD thing. Oh, yeah. Has to be. Here's uh, Stephen Dubner, an author. Have you read any of his work? No. Michael. I have not, unfortunately. 
have you? I've, well, I'm about to find out. Uh, oh, he wrote Freakonomics. Yeah, uh, you would actually like this book a lot, I think. Freakonomics? Mm-hmm. The book is a collection of articles uh, written by Stephen Levitt and Dubner, an expert gained a reputation for applying economic theory to diverse subjects, usually not covered by traditional economics. Um, they argue that the economics is at the root the study of incentives. The book's chapters discover, uh, cover discovering cheating as applied to teachers and sumo wrestlers, as well as a typical Washington, D.C. area bagel business and its customers. <laughs> like, this is, this is some pretty fun stuff. Have you read it? I have not. I've read a similar book called Soccernomics, um, which is also kind of a similar thing, but they, it, it discusses all sorts of stuff. Oh, all right. I should read Freakonomics, though. Now, do you like to actually read it or listen to an audiobook? Uh, I'm, I'm a reader, but I have gotten into audiobooks lately. But I don't think I retain as much listening. Yeah. More of a visual learner, I guess. But I will retain more listening than not reading. Right, that's true. <laughs> right, right, right. They're not reading at all. So is Altuve for the Astros. I'm going to go to Nick. Last spot, Mojo. The 49ers, uh, Cardinals, Monday night games in Mexico City. Oh, you going? <laughs> Uh, famous here. rivals, New York Slice and the Chicago Deep Dish. You have a pick on this? Oh my, I love both. But New York. Yeah, I feel like I can. Ha I, I'm comfortable having this more often. Yeah. Because you're like it's thin, it's great. But the deep dish is like a kind of like a treat. You can't really have that yeah. too often. I love both of them. Both are pretty good. Wait, so Monday Night Football in Mexico City? Yeah. Monday Night Football next person. Okay. Uh, Mexico City. Yeah. They're really expanding. I can't believe they went to Germany. Yeah, Germany's a ways away. So, Mike Tower had lunch with a boss, and your boss was boss once. Your boss ate her food one compartment at a time. And another boss, boss's boss, had a sandwich, couldn't eat it with his hands, ate the sandwich with a knife and fork. Wow. I'd quit after that. Yeah. <laughs> I'd be like, this is not the company culture I want to be involved in. <laughs> I mean, is it even a sandwich if you eat it like that? I mean, it's supposed to be. Uh, if, I, if I'm not mistaken, I believe the sandwich was invented by the Earl of Sandwich in England. He was, uh, he was, he was gambling, actually. He was playing some poker or whatever card game was of the time, in the 1600s or whatever, and didn't want a full meal. And so he told his, his servants, I, I imagine it just being like Downton Abbey, told his servants, hey, uh, get some of those meats, uh, put it on a piece of bread, and put it on another piece of bread, and I, that way I can eat that with one hand while I'm playing cards or something like that. It'll just be, I don't need a knife, I don't need a fork. Sandwich. Are you someone who just knows a bunch of like random facts? Yeah. <laughs> I'm a, waste, wait, a lot of hard drive space wasted in my brain with that. <laughs> a 
National Potato Chip Day. I usually eat pretty healthy, even all that fast food talk. I try not to eat that as much. Potato chips, that's my, that's my downfall. Really? Yeah. Out of everything? Out of every, I don't, I don't drink a lot of sodas. I don't, I, I don't eat a lot of fast food. I try to make a lot of food from home. That's a nice pastrami sandwich right there. You know, pretty average on carbs. I don't get too crazy. Mix in a lot of greens and fruits and stuff. But it's those potato chips that get me. It's like, oh, I can just crush a bag of chips. All right, looks like on the left side right there, that's a hot box. So someone asked this question earlier. You know, are these cards going to ship? Yes, because they're they're considered not common. So they will indeed ship. I bought one pack and they were all like that. I was like, is oh, this yeah? the base cards? No, that's a hot pack. Yeah. I think it's one box per uh, per case. Yes, there's some ketchup. Or <laughs> were the islands of Hawaii named after the Earl of Fans? That's possible. There is an Earl of Sandwich fast uh, fast sandwich chain. Yes, it's true. We've talked about this before. Is there a definitive answer about whether or not a hot dog is a sandwich? Yes. What is it? It's a sandwich. Oh, it's a sandwich. Meat in between. between bread, yeah. I think I would consider it a sandwich too. Well, some argue that it's own, it's its own category, but it's just like what? Just because the bread is detached, like suddenly it becomes its own thing. Is that the only criteria? Or attached? Well, some, or detached? Sometimes when you're eating a hot dog, the bread detaches. Detaches, and then yeah, then I guess it's a sandwich. It's like an incomplete sandwich. <laughs> Like someone got lazy and they're like, ah, I don't want to cut the other half. I like the random Bradley Beal that's in this set. Yeah. I'm not sure who makes that decision. Is that Jonathan Taylor? What's that? That's Jonathan Taylor. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. A little mini Jonathan Taylor. It's like... And there's a red ink autograph, six out of 10, and there's a mini chrome behind there. That is Mark Dubless, a filmmaker and actor. Do you have any idea who this guy is? Yeah, he's in, um, I know who that is. Yeah, uh, yeah the morning show. Oh, morning show. Yeah, yeah. All right, okay. Oh, that is a non-sports spot. Calvin, with that red ink auto, out of 10. Nice. Have you seen The Morning Show? I have not seen The Morning Show. I feel like that's a show that would be right up my alley. It's about uh, it's like a, yeah, news. Fox News, I think? Yeah, uh, like the cutthroat world of Fox News? Yeah, something like that. It's a really good show. Jennifer has check it out. Oh, yeah? <laughs> she seems like a fun lady. Yeah. Talk about if we could all age as gracefully as uh, as Jennifer Aston. Oh, look at this! That's pretty cool. Dude, this must be new Ooh. to the series. Little Mookie Betts stained glass mini acetate. Not numbered. I, I would imagine that has to be a short print. That's Ed with the Dodgers. I'm a buyer, Ed. Ooh, there you go. Is it random teams or? This is uh, this is a random team. So Ed, Ed got this randomly. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I don't see a number on it, but. Don't they call like the stained glass and top? Is it Renaissance? Oh, um, I guess it's Renaissance and tops, right? Stained glass is the other guys. <laughs> Renaissance. Close enough. I was just, I was just saying. 
Yeah, no, no. Accuracy is important. I appreciate that. I think that's what it was in uh, Merlin, right? Right. Right. Yeah, Merlin. It was Merlin Chrome. It was Renaissance. You haven't seen a lot of ducks here, but there's another duck. More sandwich rivalries. Joey Votto. Piece of his jersey. Remember when Joey Votto went with that, that hockey puck handle on his bat? That was wild. He's like, axe handles, not me. I'm going to put a hockey puck at the end of my bat. All right. Another box. Good luck. And, oh, nice. Trevor Hoffman. Nice Trevor Hoffman, 11 out of 25, the legendary closer for the Padres. Going to Matthew and the Friars. This guy, what an amazing changeup. Like, I don't know. Later in his career, his fastball only went like 88 miles per hour. Maybe that. But like his changeup was like six or seven miles per hour diff different. And it was just like the same arm slot, yeah. the same the same move, same everything. So you, you could just never know. You could never time it. And then, you know, he can pinpoint it anywhere. You think a closer like that would survive in today's MLB? I think so. I, th I think just by the just by the different speed, the speed difference, you can change the eye levels. He he had perfect control. I think he could make it work. Awesome, thank you, Michael. You think the knuckleballer ever comes back before you leave? I'm not gonna fuck with this. <laughs> um, knuckleballer, the guy on the Orioles, or just the knuckleballer? Uh, just the knuckleball in general. I want more knuckleballers. Do you think we can become knuckleballers? There's knuckleball camp. I can't throw them. You can't throw them? Have you tried? I, I, I think there's... Th oh, okay. <laughs> there's there's knuckleball camp around here somewhere, I feel really? like. I think so. I hope it comes back. I know. I think it'd be cool. Awesome. Thank All you, right, Michael. Joe. Appreciate it. See you guys. Hopefully, Joe will have me back. Yeah, absolutely. No, that was a huge help. This break would have, I'm telling you, we're at the hour mark right now. This break would have been an hour and a half, hour and 40 minutes, but it's probably going to be an hour and like 10 minutes. So huge help. Saves us a lot of time. Gets us to the next break. Yeah, I saw that, Rex. Sandy Alcantara won the AL, uh, Cy, or NL Cy Young. And it was, uh, it was, whatchamacallit, Justin Verlander with the AL Cy Young. I feel like this. It's pretty chalk, right? No, no, no real surprises there. Yeah, I, d I did see Harper having elbow surgery. Last I saw, last I saw, there was no uh, timetable for his return. I don't know. Long, I don't know how long those elbow surgeries like that last for for non pitchers. I like these. I'm a big national park guy. I like the national parks. This is a solid one. The peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Although sometimes, sometimes I go peanut butter and honey. How many of you, how many of you tried peanut butter and honey? That's pretty good. Yeah, where does where does Verlander go? I feel like yeah, I feel like the Astros probably re-sign him. How many teams are? I mean, I I feel like every free is going to be linked with the Dodgers, but he has been linked to the Dodgers. I don't I don't know if that would be their thing. He's sort of a it's Mike Mustakis, Reds will be for Brandon heading for the cycle. 
He's definitely, you know, Dodgers already have an older guy in uh, in Kershaw already. They want to add another one of those older pitches there. Maybe I'd rather go with the slightly younger Jacob DeGrom, perhaps. Banana with the peanut. I've not tried the banana with the peanut butter and jelly sandwich. All right, here's the second to last box. Here's the last box. See? Done. Got some high cheese. Not that low cheese, high cheese. Huh, maybe these are a little more common than I thought. There's an Eloy Jimenez, although that looks like a different color on this Renaissance Mini. Some kosher salt. Another mini card right here, Reggie Jackson. Another Bobby Witt Jr. Oops, sorry. MJ Melendez. Clean up my, my mini card section. A lot of minis. Oh, J Dog also saying that that PBJ and banana is it. And I gotta give that. I do. I do like. I do like the banana. the bird. Yeah. A foul ball. I get it. It's something I've not done in a little while. Fishing. Mesa Verde National Park, National Teachers Day. Diego, when is when is National uh, Teachers Day? Let's set a coffee here. I have to give it a try. Grape or strawberry jelly? That's a good question. Um, I'll go. I don't mind both. I don't have a preference. Whatever's in the fridge. It's Christian Yelich. And a Byron Buxton autograph. That's for the twins. That'll be for Darren. Yeah, I don't have a preference. Grape is fine. Strawberry is fine, especially if it's strawberry with like the little, the, the chunks of strawberry in it. That's a good one. There's Jason Veritek, Tech, going to Michael and the Red Sox. And Yelich going to Greg and the Brew Crew.
All right, final stack, final box. Good luck, everybody. We got around the horn. And we've got a green jersey for the Reds, Luis Castillo. It's going to go to Brandon and the Red Legs. Probably their um, St. Patrick's jerseys. I think I've been to Arches National Park when I was a wee lad. But not recently. And we've got a piece of uh, Neil Moore's, not jersey, but a piece of his gear, I guess, an explorer and writer. Yeah, he's an American writer and canoeist, according to Wikipedia. Author of two nonfiction books, Down the Mississippi and Homelands, a memoir. It's pretty cool. The Mark Twain Museum, CNN, and the Times of London have dubbed him the modern-day Huckleberry Finn. I would like to take a, uh, I don't know about a canoe, but a boat down the Mississippi would be pretty cool. A number of uh, years back, when the National was in Chicago, I took some time off after the National to go to the Field of Dreams. And I drove a car across the Mississippi. I was, I was impressed by the mighty Mississippi. Crossed it at a, in a Dubuque, I want to say. Uh, Joe, oh, may yes. I borrow this card? You can take this card now. This is the Tuesday card, by the way. Oh, we were, like, am I going crazy? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Where is yesterday's to, stuff? Needed to pack stack. Okay. It magically sorted itself. If, I was going to say, like, wow, impressive. If you need help pack stack, let me know. Yeah, um, maybe a little bit later if you're around. I'll be here till seven. Wow! All right. Yeah. All right. Uh, Julio Rodriguez for the Mariners. Uh, Adam. We got what a steal. We got some Yang Mai. Nah, ooh, chicken parm, you taste so good. National chicken parm. Chicken parm is pretty good. All right, for the Brewers, Devin Williams, uh, Greg with the Brew Crew. Wander Franco. All right, almost there, ladies and gentlemen. Got a lot more on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Our World Cup promo is pretty close. Would love to give away a few more spots tonight. Maybe finish off that promo by tonight. Maybe tomorrow. Probably tomorrow, but possibly tonight. So jazbeescasebreaks.com. Check it out. And that, my friends, is that. Also, National Chocolate Day right here. Dark chocolate. That's for me. Dark chocolate guy. 70-80% dark chocolate. Vanessa, what kind of chocolate? What? What kind of chocolate? Dark chocolate. Dark chocolate? Me yeah. too. I'm like 70-80% dark yeah. chocolate. That's Love it. Fire. Love it. All right, gang. That was Allen and Ginter. 12 box. Random team number one. Full case. And here is the recap. Some nice stuff in here. Always a, a goofy, quirky set. Alan and Ginter, but I don't know. There's a I, I like it. There's a lot of different, like fun little talking points you can make with it. We got that rip card for the Padres. 
Let's see if uh, Matthew with the Padres, let us know if you end up ripping it. Alice Cooper, if you end up ripping it or keeping it. So a lot of great stuff here. More in the store, jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for breaking with us. Thanks for watching. Oh, no, we're not done yet. Forgot about all these guys. Box toppers. Not done yet. We've got a Ken Griffey Jr. box size. This is the problem with the box hoppers when they put them on top. Sometimes they can get a little uh, damage there. But there's Ken Griffey Jr. for the Mariners. That'll be for Adam. There's Otani for the Angels. That will be for Michael. I think in previous years, we these can, there is a potential for these to be autographed, I want to say. There's Juan Soto, Nationals for Lonnie. Chicken Parm is the name of former NHL player Ray Ferrar. Is that right? That's what Mike's saying. There's Ichiro for the Mariners. That'll be for Adam. Oversized. We got Fernando Tatis Jr. for the Padres. Oversized. It looks like Aaron Judge. Nice. Where does he end up? Bill, 17 with that box topper. We got this one. This is a N43 box loader. How did he get that nickname, Mike Tower? CJ Abrams. Another, another little bend right there. Got another Tatis Jr. for the Friars for Matthew. Got another Tatis Jr. We got a Clayton Kershaw for the Dodgers. That'll be for Ed. And last but not least, we got Michael Trout. That's going to go to Michael Gallucci and the Halos. There you go, gang. Now we're done. Random Team 1 in the books. More in the store, jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time on, on the website. I already said the website, jazbeescasebreaks.com. Bye-bye.